So it's been about two months since I've uploaded uh, my first video, and I've come a long way with the uh, with the tank. Got a few fish, as you can see. Got some coral, and I just got a seahorse today, and uh, he seems to be you know doing pretty good. He's hanging out over there. I gotta pick up some uh, shrimp to feed him. A couple of pieces. Yeah, they think, they think it's time to eat. <laughs> but it's been a pretty good journey as far as, you know, trying to maintain the tank and take care of everything. Uh, picked up a clam today. He hadn't came out of his shell yet. And uh, also I got a little starfish. He just moved over there. So that's a, I guess he liked that spot a little bit better. So everything is, uh, seemed to like in this location. Um, Got a little frog spawn I got from a buddy of mine and he hadn't started to come out yet, so I may have to move him. And uh then snails keep knocking everything over, so I had to keep repositioning stuff. So I got should have got some smaller snails, but these snails are pretty big and the shells are always kind of run into everything. But everything seems to be happy. And uh, got a pretty good system going with my protein skimmer. Just emptied it yesterday and it seemed to be making some good bubbles. A little bioreactor. I'm kind of up in the air about that. I don't know if it's really working or, you know, it's not really a good way to tell what the bioreactor is doing. And uh, I put this fan in to uh, evaporate some of the heat, the uh, heat coming off of the water. And it's uh, keeping my temperature at about 79 degrees so I basically bypass the chiller and don't have to use that so that that saved me about 300 bucks so anybody that's looking to uh, keep from using a chiller just go to Walmart get you a little fan I started out with uh, a 12 volt fan and just wiring in a, a 12 volt little converter 120 volt to 12 volt and that kind of supplied that fan a couple of times and uh, I found this fan in Walmart, uh, a little smaller fan for about uh, about five bucks cheaper, and uh, it's doing you know pretty good so far. So that's a cheaper way of bypassing that uh, that chiller. And I got some uh, hook, hooked up a couple of dosing pumps, so I don't have to uh, worry about dosing my calcium and magnesium. And looked on uh, Boat Reef Supply. And, Really didn't even know what I was ordering and once it came I kind of you know looked on their website and uh, They uh, had these in there. So I started researching and found out how to wire them and hook them up and run them for about 10 minutes a day and uh, Seemed to be working out pretty good uh, fish are responding the coral seemed to be getting a better skeleton so and got a got a little timer so just inexpensive ways of uh, running your tank without spending a lot of money on different timers and things that you really don't need to uh, worry about. And I'm uh, getting ready. I want to probably, you know, change my light, go with a better uh, lighting system. This was kind of a quick lighting to get me started. It's a green element. And this actually doing pretty good but uh they have some uh hang on the back lights with some with some uh some goosenecks and i think i want to kind of go to those to see how they work out uh but i'm not for sure how, if i want to spend 300 bucks on on per light it's pretty expensive so that's it i mean two months got the tank up and running doing pretty good no major problems i had a little problem with algae at one point but uh adjusted the light and it uh it went away picked up a couple of snails i got a couple of shrimp in the back back there's some red shrimp but uh they're actually on on the little uh on that nassau tang back there they're kind of doing a little cleaning job on him but they are a little shy they don't come out very much but uh Tank's looking good, you know. Leave some comments, some feedbacks. 
you know, try to help me out if you guys got any suggestions. But uh, definitely uh, enjoying the, the tank life.